WIDA, or the Western Dredging Association, is a trade organization that represents uh, dredging and marine construction industry in the North, Central, and South America. This year, WIDA awarded the Safety Commission Award to Honeywell's Onondaga Lake Restoration Project. And one of the most impressive things about this project for the review committee was the fact that Honeywell had an enviable track record of safety. And those are the factors that uh, impressed the committee to award this uh, recognition to Honeywell. We take health and safety very seriously. In fact, um, there's a lot of planning that goes into it. There's a lot of training that goes into it. It's a daily activity. Safety is very important on this project and everybody that works as a team together to make sure that it is a safe environment. I'm proud to be a part of this project because I'm from this area and in, uh, in years to come, it'll be great to be able to tell people that I was part of you know, the Onondaga Lake cleanup and making life better for people in Syracuse. We're really honored that an association like WIDA or the Western Dredging Association has recognized Honeywell for this, to be receiving this award on behalf of both the staff, the workers, the labor unions, and everybody else who's involved. Safety performance is not something that happens uh, just because people decide that we want it to happen. It takes people working at it day in, day out. We do several things, including job safety meetings at the job site before the work is kicked off. We have a process that we call our job safety analysis, or JSAs, where we review each and every critical project that's going to be done during the day to make sure that there are safe procedures being implemented and that not only is the management, but the worker very comfortable with the overall execution. For the week, we ask them to take the opportunity to say what they saw this week that was safe, unsafe, or a potential risk. We just promote 100% participation. The guys do real well at it. It's uh, some good things have come out of this that I think that have kept our project uh, a good temperament on safety and, uh, and, and well kept all along. We fill out a take five card for all the things that are implicated for what is considered the hazards for what we do and the things that are challenged to mitigate those things to keep it as safe as possible. Today, we have the end dumps backing into the creek with the sun in their mirrors and bouncing off the water. And we also have warm temperatures. And along with this, we have all the different questions that we ask. And we have what they call a stop work authority. If something is not right, we go back over the procedures of things. And also, these are all the listings of things that we need to have on our site as far as a lifeline, life ring, sunscreen, um, spill kits, and repellents. The company has been great as far as communicating what it's been doing to the community and one of the things that I know they've been really emphasizing is health and safety. So for them to get this award is uh, work that has really paid off not only for the community but also for the workers and the people that have been involved in this project. Well the biggest reason for me safety being so important we're, we're all working for one reason that's to support our families and if we're not coming home safe and intact and in one piece so we can go back the next day, we're not doing our families any good. To me, I have a 10-year-old son that is extremely proud of the fact that I am part of the project to clean up the lake for his future generation.